Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one we're going to make a script that creates a bunch of random notes using the tone effect inside of After Effects. Now let's go ahead and take a listen. So as you can see, random tones are being generated. It might not sound that cool, but of course this can be used to create random tones, expand it to create chords, and if you want, you could um, basically create this to be much more organized than we have it now. And inside of the script, we have an object called notes, which contains the frequencies of basically every note um, in standard Western temperament, or 440 hertz. Um, and essentially, these are the representations of the frequencies, which will be randomly selected for each of these solid layers it creates. It's going to apply a tone sign effect and then change the frequency of the first channel to be that note. So for example, if I focus here on this note, it's a pretty good tone. It's at 277 hertz, which tells me this is actually a C sharp, uh, a C4 sharp, which is where it is up on the scale. If I wanted to go up, an, say, an octave and go to regular C sharp or C sharp 5, I could then put in 554.37, and you can see it's an octave. So now that you know that this contains all of the information for all of the notes on a keyboard, essentially, what we can then do is go in and look at the actual code of the script, which is very simple. Essentially, what we're doing is creating a composition called Song Test and it just has regular dimensions, 1080p, and then we're going to open up that composition here. After that, we're going to set up beats per minute. Now the reason I put this in here originally is so that in the future, I could actually say this needs to be this many beats per minute, and then it would appropriately space the tones apart depending on how fast I wanted them to. So these right here are just some free calculations I did to calculate um, how many frames there are for every beat, how many seconds there are for every beat, um, you don't have to use them, of course. So really, you could just ignore all this and then move on to this for loop here, which is going through 20 times and each time creating a new solid layer, which, as you can see, we have 20 solids here. And then it's adjusting the start time of our layer to be just after the next one, so they go sequentially. And we're also going to add an audio tone effect to it. And finally, we're going to go into this custom made function where we grab our layer and we grab our notes array with all of these values here and then we pick a random property inside of there. And inside of this random property function it's essentially going to take any object we give it, in this case the notes, and return any random one of these properties. So for each layer essentially that it creates it's going to move it sequentially, it's going to add a tone, and then it's going to randomly decide what that tone should be. And as you can see, I've also included these extra arguments for the frequency 2, 3, 4, and 5, as well as the level. So in the future, if you want, you can adjust those. Because inside of the change tone effect, we're simply going to go ahead and change the frequency 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, for now, we'll just put them at 0 so you can't hear them. The only other thing I could think of that would be useful to upgrade on this quick tip script would be changing the waveform from a sign to something else just to get different tones. Um, and this could be used to further randomize the tones being generated which uh, down the line you could really randomize to have sines, saws, and triangle waves um, all generating different tones and different sounding instruments and creating music in After Effects. I could see that happening, but it's definitely a complicated topic. So I'm going to change uh, my tone input here from sine to number three, which would be a saw, and let's go ahead and regenerate. Let's have a listen to the difference. So obviously a lot more annoying, but it's a different type of sound that we can create. And of course there are other waves that we can create too. In this case I've created triangles. So yeah, that's actually going to do it for this week's quick tip tutorial. Just wanted to give away a fun and expandable script to you guys for free that generates some cool tones. A lot of people don't know about messing around with tones like this in After Effects, or even uh, that frequency relates to it like this. So go ahead and download it from GitHub, the link will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, and of course subscribe to be notified when new videos come out twice a week. Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.